Hi family, it's me, Miss Sam. We are going to do oh, hugs and kisses to you. Thank you for joining me here on Celestial Tarot Readings. Let's do this reading on Lisa Marie Presley. Uh, her daughter, Riley, has just released a photo and she made a statement about four hours ago about her mother. This is very, very, very complicated. Very complicated. I've got some candlelight here and I'll be referring to the light occasionally, okay, during this reading. going to push this back a little bit just a little just a little okay just a little bit all right so Here is Lisa and Riley. Okay, and um, it's a childhood photo of herself, of course, with her mum who died last week at the age of 54 of cardiac arrest. As I read this article from the Daily Mail, I'm gonna pick up cards, okay? Because there are so many questions and so many answers that we're seeking and answers that are true, which are alarming and so on and so forth. And it's a, it's a quagmire, if that's the right word to describe this. Okay, so she posts a heartbreaking photo of her as a child with her mother, as the family prepares to lay her to rest beside her brother, Benjamin Keo at Graceland. I want to go to Priscilla first of all, okay? I want to find out how Priscilla is feeling about the death of her daughter, Lisa, her firstborn, okay? Child of Elvis Aaron Presley. How is Priscilla feeling? Just a second. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of emotion, and there's a lot of rage. There's a lot of rage. Seems as if Priscilla is mad. She's mad. Card. Two of Cups. Clarification card for the Two of Cups. You're not going to believe this, but the lover's card has come up. The lover's card and the two of cups. You see, it's going to sound very strange when I say to you that it seems as if Priscilla was working with somebody against Lisa. And that's going to sound weird. You're going to say, Miss Sam, that's her mum. You're going to say, yes, her mum was strange to her. But, but with this lover's card and the two of cups coming up together, I think this is the first time, the first time as a tarot reader that these two cards have come up together in about four years. I can't remember another time when these two cards have come up together. Priscilla, disclaimer, is or was working with somebody who she was intimately connected with, but working against Lisa Marie. It's like a, a, a man and a woman, boyfriend and girlfriend, 
working against somebody else. This is Priscilla. But isn't Priscilla married? But mind you, that doesn't doesn't mean anything, does it? I look at Cher. Cher is dating that young boy, ex-boyfriend of Amber Rose. <laughs> this can't be right. <laughs> Something got to be wrong with this. Something wrong. Beauty and the Beast, Priscilla intimately connected with someone who is against her daughter and who was against her. That surprises me. I'm surprised. Next card. Tell me more about this, please, Olive Damari. Tell me more about this. What on earth is going on? Another two, two of coins. This funeral for Lisa Marie Presley. Oh my gosh, how many videos I have to do tonight now? I'm gonna have to do a series of videos on this tonight. This funeral that's being planned for Lisa Marie Presley is being planned by her mother, her mother's lover. And the two of them are were against Lisa when she was alive. Clarification card, two of swords here in reverse. The, the energy for this card, the first word that came up was pressure. Pressure. Someone being pressurized to do something. But unfortunately, they couldn't do it before she died. So again, we have this energy that came up in the last reading where Lisa was being pressured. It seems as if she was being pressured to do something for someone. And it had been ongoing pressure, like someone was getting at her again and again and again, at, almost like at intervals. Don't know if you've seen the first reading that I did on Lisa last week. Someone was getting to her, but Priscilla is very much involved in this. I'm wondering if this is Priscilla's style of parenting and if this had anything to do with Lisa Marie's dependence upon drugs from an early age or what. Because this doesn't seem recent at all. Next card, strength here. Okay, that lady with the red hair there. Okay, that's Priscilla. Very, very strong. And she's handling a lion. The lion is very possibly very possibly Lisa's ex-husband, the mother of the twin, the father of the twins. So we have Priscilla, mother of Lisa Marie Presley, very possibly working with the father of the twins, who apparently are not going back to the house because their father calls the shots now, right? Mother's gone, so the father calls the shots and and even if the twins wanted to go back to the house their father's not allowing them to strength so as much as there is this lovers and this two of cups situation going on between priscilla and some man this man has is, is very it's like He's very strong. He's the lion. But she also is strong. You can see that red hair there. The red hair is the indication of this strong energy. This is a woman with long flaming hair. She It's almost like seeing two lions on the card. I've never seen this strength card like that before. But it's almost like that. Yeah, it's almost as if her being the lady doesn't really matter. It's like two lions wrestling on this strength card. You know, because usually, I know she's got like a, what's this in her hand? The baby croc or something like that. But yeah, usually there's a lion and it's the lady. You know, on the Rider Waite card, it's the lady with the, with the 
garland of flowers around the lion's neck and it's like you know it's a very difficult situation but subtlety is required and the beauty and the strength and the divine feminine energy of the lady can can work with the strength of the aggressive masculine uncontrollable wild beast of the lion this is what we've got here priscilla and this other person Uh, family, there's this Celtic energy coming up again. I know you said that's not the 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 guy who she lives with, Lisa Marie's ex husband who she lives with. That's not the one that um, is the so called bad guy, the father of the twins, who she was divorcing, or who she had divorced, and so on. But there were ongoing court battles between the two of them. But there is Celtic energy on this card here and this person Priscilla the guy on this card with Priscilla the beast on this card with Priscilla and the other person on this two of cups card with Priscilla the lovers the two of cups and the strength they're all the same person they have Celtic energy remember I was talking about the the Irish thing yeah the Irish element you have to go back and look at that first reading let me continue with the article right and then um, I'll pull another card Wow, this is something. This is quite something. So Riley posted a picture of herself and her mum. It's the first time that Riley has acknowledged on social media the death of her mum. Lisa will be laid to rest at the family's Graceland estate after a celebration of life service on Sunday at 9 a.m. So this is a very, very tense weekend, family. Very, very tense funeral prep going on. Here is Shabbos now. It's the Sabbath. So we've got Friday night, Saturday, and then Sunday is, you know, D-Day. It's the day of the funeral and the celebration of life. Don't know if it's going to be a public one. It'll be very interesting to watch. So that is such a beautiful, I just want to show you this picture again. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Hmm. So Despite previous reports that the singer had already been buried, Presley will be laid to rest this Sunday. The service will be open to the public and um, attendees will get a chance to walk by her body. She will be buried next to her son, Benjamin, Benjamin Kyo, who took his own life in 2020 and also buried across from her famous father, Elvis from her father's plot. Um, so Presley grew up fearing her own mortality after she found her father dead at the age of nine, traumatizing her. She often spoke of her own death and even referred to the backyard at the Graceland estate, estate as a graveyard. the energy at Graceland right now. The energy at Graceland right now. Four of Wands in reverse. There is resistance there, and I don't know where the resistance is coming from, if it's resistance from the spirits at Graceland or resistance from the administration there or whatever, because the administration have no rights to say that Lisa Marie cannot be buried there. Naturally, that would be that's her ancestral land. She should be buried there. Where else do they expect her to be buried? But we've got four of ones here in reverse. It looks as if 
organization, the administration, everything that's going on is very disorganized and nothing has been settled. Seems like there's chaos there. Four of Wands here in reverse. What you can see on this card is a happy occasion in the reverse. See, it's like somebody getting married there. It's a happy, joyous occasion. Other people are usually in attendance. Not many. But the card here is in reverse. You know what, family? On this Four of Wands, there is this energy that one of the reasons why this is going to be an open, a public funeral is so that the family don't have to mix too much together. They don't have to be together in an intimate space just by themselves. So allowing the public in can kind of give them an excuse not to mess with each other. This is what's coming up. There's some people that people don't want to see and other people don't mind not being seen by other people. And that sounds weird, doesn't it? There's some people that Priscilla, she don't want to see. But then again, if Priscilla is carrying on with some man, presumably a man who was close to Lisa, then that would be very out of order and quite something to talk about. And oh my gosh, what the hell? No wonder you don't want to be close to people if you're carrying on like that. What kind of things do these people carry on with? It's like there's no, it's like there's no, it's going to sound weird, but you know, some people don't feel shame. <laughs> some people who are not ashamed of anything, they don't have a threshold. Like, you know, there's, there's not a, a line. They don't understand that there's sometimes a line that you cross and a line that you, you know, some, you, you don't tell the line. This is what I'm getting from Priscilla. She doesn't quite understand that there is a line to be towed. Like, thou shalt not sleep with thy daughter's husband or boyfriend or ex-lover or whatever. It's something like that that's coming up. But, you know, some mothers are very trifling and they will be in cahoots with their daughter or son's ex. Do you know that? They'll be in cahoots with them. So much so that the, the son or the daughter will be looking at their mom like, Mom, what the hell? Why are you so, you know, that, that person be all up and under the mum, going around their house, going shopping with them, taking, going with them on errands, speaking with them on the phone, texting them and stuff like that. It completely cuts the, the son or daughter out of the relationship and it alienates. And sometimes parents don't mind doing that. It sounds weird, but it's true. Yeah, some parents do that. I've come across that energy time and time and time again. Where it's literally like the parent says, I can't be bothered with you, but I love your ex. Come to my house for Sunday. I'll do roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, roast potatoes, cabbage. Come over. It's that type of thing. It's too close for comfort. And it definitely leads to tension in the family. Definitely. But that's what's coming up anyway. They don't, people don't want to mess with each other at the funeral. They just want to, so let everybody come in so I don't have to see you. I'm saying it, the worst thing about this is family, that same energy is, it's not even a focus on Lisa Marie, even though it's her funeral. The focus is, oh my gosh, this has happened. Now I have to see all these damn people. That's what, <laughs> literally, that's the energy that's got me to, you know, it's almost like, almost like, and this can sound so harsh and so horrible, but it's almost like Priscilla don't even like her daughter. It's like, how to put it? Like, it's because of you, I've got to go and see these people. It's because of you I have to face these people. It's because of you. It's a bit like these people going to see my drawers because of you. You know, and ordinarily what I'm doing can be hidden. I don't want to share my business with everybody, but now look what you did. But Lisa's dead. But that's Priscilla's attitude. <sighs> Why do you have to go and die for? Now I've got to see all these assholes. 
and they're gonna see all my business and scrutinize me yet again. But at the same time, not really giving a damn. Is a, is a, I don't know, is it is that an old time, you know, I know Priscilla is an old timer, but is it is it because of age why she thinks like that or what? Because not all older people think like that. I myself am older, I don't think like that. It is weird. It's a weird one. Sometimes resentment manifests in this type of thing. You know, kind of indirectly trying to hurt the son or daughter because you resent them and you've never been able to really articulate it, but you'll show them in the way you treat their exes, the way you love on their exes. Not you, but you know. <sighs> oh, Lord. Secrets and lies, family. Secrets and lies. How many people have a family grave in the backyard? Said Lisa once upon a time. How many people have are reminded of their fate, of their mortality every effing day? All the graves are lined up and there's a spot there waiting for me, right next to my grandmother, she told Playboy in 2003. So that was an interview with Playboy that Lisa Marie gave in 2003, as shame. Despite her fear, the singer believed that she had many more years to live last Sunday, uh, to live last Sunday, and told her friend David Kessler, who works as a grief counsellor, that she had so much to do. The pair were at the Graceland estate to celebrate what would have been Elvis's 88th birthday. And Presley, who really made public appearances, public appearances, told the adoring crowd, you are the only people who can bring me out of the house. Can you imagine that the fans, the people who loved Elvis, the crazy fans, of which I know many in Scotland, you know, Scotland has a huge rockability and rock, rockability or rock, you know, that kind of um, Chuck Berry and... Um, Buddy Holly, you know, rock and roll scene, that type of thing. Y'all know about Shaking Stevens from the 80s and stuff like that. But they also, they are die hard. I remember when Young Dolph died. I remember there were friends of mine and neighbors of mine who were going to Memphis. And I was telling them that things in tent, you know, things are tense and stuff. And they were telling me where they're staying and stuff like that downtown and, and how, you know, is it safe for them and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you're not going anywhere near that part of airways and stuff like that. But these are people who they dress like Elvis. <laughs> they do. Their hair and everything. They like and they go to every single Elvis event in the UK. I don't know about the rest of Europe, but anything going on in regards to Elvis, they're there. And they spend a lot of money. That was something that I mentioned in the Dolph Young Dolph videos. Young Dolph is the other king of Memphis. Ah, three kings of Memphis, three kings. We three kings of Orienta, bearing gifts we travel afar, field and fountain, more and mountain, follow the yonder star. Yeah, the star. But yeah, Lisa Marie said if it wasn't for the fans, she wouldn't come out. She would stay at home. So you can imagine, this is not somebody who goes out to visit mom or goes shopping with mom or goes over to dinner with mom or has, you know, mom come over and things like that. It seemed like if this is the way Priscilla carries on, Lisa wouldn't really have had much to do with her. Let's see how Lisa's energy, how her spirit feels about her mom. I'm going to go to the candlelight before I pull a card. 
if that's okay. Let's get this candlelight steady. Oh boy. Lisa, how do you feel about your mom, Priscilla? Hiding. Hiding. Her spirit is hiding from Priscilla. Oh, Priscilla, what kind of thing are you carrying on with? Are you taunting your daughter? Are you taunting her spirit? Lisa, how do you feel about Priscilla, your mother? The candle's very wild and erratic, erratic, but there was this ducking and diving energy and also, she said, hiding. Hiding. A spirit is hiding. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I've never come across this before. Where, uh, well, oh, the, the, the only explanation i can think of why a human would taunt a spirit is in deliverance i used to be a deliverance minister my family are deliverance ministers with churches okay and we are taught to taunt demons to taunt them to make them come out of people and to disgrace them and to bring them low you know they're low energies anyway but to bring them low because uh, demons see themselves high. They see they they think they're better than you, higher than you, and better than the person that they're in, but you have to disgrace them and bring them down. And then also when you do different types of work like banishing and things like that, you have to if it's a legion, you start to separate them and you have to call them out. And they all have demons all have different names. Okay. So I don't know if Priscilla is treating her daughter as if she is a demon. Understand? That could be the only explanation for it. It's a, it's a Pentecostal, revivalist, charismatic way of addressing demons and addressing bad spirits. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That was a lot. And as I mentioned, demon, people came out from next door. <laughs> I'm not calling them demons, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, let me get on with this reading, 28 minutes. Is this making sense to your family? It's like Priscilla is taunting her daughter's spirit. I know of people, right, who have lost somebody close to them. Hear me out. Just just one minute. Lost someone close to them and have told the, the, the spirit that they're not welcome near them anymore because they're scared. They don't want, they're just, they, they just want to close the relationship with that person and that person's spirit pops up on them. And they know it's there and they say, go away, you're not welcome here, and that's it. Right? Or they run them, as we say in the Caribbean, run doppy. <laughs> and of course, there are things that can be done at the funeral to prevent the spirit from coming back and bothering people, right? People close to them. Wives, husbands, mothers, fathers, the baby mothers, girlfriends, boyfriends, you know, whoever the person was had an intimate connection with or close connection with. But, but to actually taunt the spirit doesn't mean to say that you're telling the spirit to go. What it means is that there's a continuation of the relationship that the person had with the person when they were alive. So 
So she's taunting her in death, but maybe she was taunting her when she was alive too. And not and maybe not having physical access to her daughter apart from public appearances and things like that. She didn't have access to taunt her. Lisa could not pick up the phone, not respond to a text, not entertain her mum when she could mother come around. She's not a Lisa make herself unavailable. That type of thing. Just not going to mum's house. But now Lisa is dead and the spirit is there. And Lisa seems to have questions and she seems to be near her mother and there is the, the mother is taunting her. This is for entertainment purposes only. I read a bit more and I'll pull a couple more cards and that will be it. This, I knew this reading was going to be something. So... On Tuesday, the Los Angeles County Coroner deferred the results of her official cause of death, pending the results of a toxicology test, which would take years. What happened before the cardiac arrest? What caused Lisa Marie Presley to go into cardiac arrest? What caused Ashe? What caused her to go into cardiac arrest? Nine of Wands. See, usually on the nine of wands, what we see is a fence behind someone, someone who is battered, someone who's just been through it, had enough, but they're still standing, even though they're battered and bruised. And usually the ones behind them, in this case, are ancestors. You can see there are actual skulls on the card here. And that house in the background is Graceland, but it's a representative of any other house or place that Lisa had chosen to make a home. The houses that she tried to build in terms of the relationships, marriages, families that she tried to build and all of that, plus the ancestors are behind her. There's this uh, laughing, mocking energy as well, which I'm picking up. <laughs> It's a mixed batch of spirits here. In and amongst the ancestors are other spirits there who are mocking and taunting and laughing, that type of thing. There's a sense here, family, that as much as Lisa came across as commanding and strong and speaking her mind, she was that way because people didn't really take her seriously. This is what I'm picking up. And here we've got this supernatural mocking energy here. The spirits associated with the people that she's dealt with and the husbands that she has married. Those people all mocking her. It seemed as if it was convenient for her to be in people's lives. Lisa Marie Presley, Elvis, Graceland, the money, Priscilla's daughter, all of that. But what about Lisa? Any of those guys wanted to marry Lisa for Lisa? As much as I love Michael Jackson, he was very problematic. But also, he didn't just marry Lisa Marie because he thought that she was a cool chick. He didn't. He was an astute businessman, very astute. And he married Lisa, even though he liked her. He liked her very, very much. And they did grow close together before, during, and even after the marriage. But the point of the matter is he married her as a strategic business move, the same kind of move that he made when he bought the Beatles catalog. It's the same move. So here we have Lisa and who loved her for her? She married once, twice, several times. And all of them to four times, right? She had children. 
She received love from them children, but the set of twins that came with contention because of the man. Is it Michael Lockwood? Now I was going to say, is it him that, that, that Priscilla is carrying on with? Is it him that Priscilla is carrying on with? Look at Priscilla's face. Only there for show, really. Hmm? Lisa, let me ask you a question. I'll just cut to the chase. Who is that person that your mum is carrying on with and the two of them tag team you? Who is it? Is it Danny? Or is it Michael? The candle did this when I asked if it's Michael. Well, unless Michael has Celtic energy, then it ain't, well, he's not the one that came up in the cards. <laughs> Again, did Michael Lockwood have anything to do with Lisa Marie going into cardiac arrest? She of coins here in reverse. Did them twins speak to their mum? Were they able to speak to her and or, or was it I'm getting some not great, some not so great energy here. We've got the king of coins here in reverse. So the answer is yes, Michael had something to do with Lisa Marie's death. The fact that he didn't want to work with her, the fact that he was so wild and stubborn with her. But you see, we got this two against one energy here. Look at the two demons at the bottom of the card. This one here is Lisa with the drum. And these two demons here, one of them is Priscilla and one is either Michael or Danny. It's one of them. And the card is in the reverse. This is something that Priscilla really inserted herself in because if her daughter is having problems with her ex-husband, you as a mother or parent, you you know, you as someone who loves the person, you don't insert yourself into these people's marital drama this way. No wonder Lisa isolated herself and kept to herself. This video is going to be very long. I'm going to have to do another couple of videos on this. I wonder when that resentment set in, really. For I'm talking about between Priscilla and Lisa. When did that resentment set in? Because Elvis, sure enough, loved his daughter. Priscilla loved Elvis. But was Priscilla ever jealous of the love that Elvis had for his daughter? I know that Elvis was carrying on with quite a few people and backing singers in Vegas. Is the rock and roll lifestyle. And Priscilla rode the wave for many, many years. But when did that resentment come in towards Lisa Marie?
I'll come back with another reading later on or tomorrow. Maybe I'll let this one sit for a while. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> ah, she got her father's charm. <laughs> he was one for the ladies, wasn't he? <laughs> she got her father's charm. <laughs> All right, Lisa. Ashe. Bless. <sighs> Family, thank you for watching. My name is Miss Sam. This is Celestial Tower Readings. This has been the reading on Lisa Marie Presley, full of wonder and surprise. Oh, family drama, family mess. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Ashe, bless. See you next time, okay? Inshallah. Shukran. Bless. <laughs>